This is the third video in our series on Llama Index, where we are building an end-to-end -end chat with your document system. Today, we are going to be focusing on vector stores. Vector stores are an essential components of any rack system, and they actually determine how the user can interact with your system. So primarily, there are two different types of vector stores. One are self-hosted, which you can host on your local servers or lo local infrastructure. The second one is cloud-based solutions, such as Pinecone. As the name suggests, the vector store is going to be stored in the cloud. Now, depending on your intended application, you are either looking for a self-hosted solution or a cloud-based solution. So in this video, I will show you one self-hosted solution. Uh, so we're going to be looking at ChromaDB. This is the, an option that you can run on your local servers or your local infrastructure without access to the internet. But if you are serving clients or users over the internet, you probably want to look at a cloud hosted solution such as Pinecone. So we are going to be covering both ChromaDB as well as Pinecone in this video and see how you can interface both of them with Llama Index. Okay, so I put together this um, Google Colab that I'll share with you. Now, uh, in order to run this, you don't really need a GPU instance. So in this case, we are going to be using an open source embedding model. And for the LLM, we're going to be using OpenAI's LLM. In a subsequent video, I'll show you how to actually replace the LLM part with an open source model. Okay, so first, uh, we are installing everything that we need. So we will need to uncomment this uh, and run these two cells. Next, we are setting up our OpenAI API key. Uh, this part is needed to access GPT 3.5. Next, we are importing different packages that we will need. And I'll talk about each one of them when the time comes. Now, for this uh, specific use case, I'm using the BGE base English model uh, for computing embeddings. So this is available on Hugging Face. You can replace this with any other open source embedding model. Or if you would like, you can even use the OpenAI's embedding model. Now, in order to do chat, we will need uh, some documents. So in this case, I'm using the Orca paper. And the way I'm doing is I'm using the simple directory reader to load that file. Now, I have uploaded that file in here in the Google Colab. And the way you do it is you simply right click and then click upload, select a file, and that will be uploaded in here. Or you can create a folder and upload files to that folder. But in that case, you want to provide the folder name in here instead of, uh, so you will replace this with a folder name rather than uh, a single file name, right? But in this case, we're just dealing with a single file. That's why I'm using this input files key, right? If you are uploading multiple files and read them by name, you can provide them in the form of a list. Now, I went over the basics of Llama Index in my earlier two videos. I'll put a link to the playlist. So if you're new here, I would recommend watch those videos because that will give you a better understanding of what uh, this simple directory reader is. Okay, so we loaded our document. Now let's see how we create a vector store within Llama Index. So the first one we are going to be looking at is the Chroma DB. Now the way it works is we first need to create a Chroma DB client. So here we are creating that. And then we need to create a collection that we're going to be storing in our vector store. So for that, um, you can assign it a name. I simply called it Orca Paper. So basically the client that you created, you create a collection uh, with your name of choice. I'm simply calling it Orca Paper. So we just created a new collection. Now, based on this collection, we need to create a vector store. So for that, we are going to be using the Chroma vector store class. We pass on the Chroma collection that we just created and we assign it to a variable called vector store. Now, using this approach, it really gives you the flexibility that you can have multiple different collections and multiple different vector stores if you are dealing with a diverse set of data. Next, we simply need to change the default vector store that Llama Index is using. So the vector store we just created using ChromaDB, we assign that and we're using the storage 
uh, context and changing the default value right so now our storage context is going to be updated with this new vector store that we just created okay we also need to uh, change one more default value and that is the embedding model so by default llama index uses open ai's embedding model now in this case since we wanted to use the open source embedding model uh, that's why we're going to assign or change the default embedding model in here okay so if you go up here is where we define our embedding model okay so we are all set with uh, our defaults now we simply need to create a vector store index and here is how you do it so we're using the vector store index class and we're creating the vector store uh, from the documents so this is basically the paper that we provided and we need to change both the storage context so now we're going to be using uh the chroma db vector store and we also need to uh, change the service context so in this case we only change the uh, embedding model so this will update the embedding model as well now in terms of our architecture diagram we are actually updating this part so we are updating the embedding model and the vector store where we are storing both the embeddings as well as the text chunks now how do you use it so from the index we start a query engine that becomes our query engine and then we ask a query right so for example here the question is what are some of the main contributions of this new orca model and it gives us a response that we are displaying in here so i'm not really concerned about the accuracy of the response at the moment i just wanted to show you how to set up a chroma db vector store and use it with llama index now by default when you create a chroma db vector store within llama index so it will remain in memory we are not writing anything to the disk but if you want this in real applications you want to create your vector store and then write it to a disk and read it whenever you need it so here is how you do it and so first you need to create a db and this time we are using the persistent client so it's going to be uh, written to this specific path or folder now we are uh, we need to assign it a name so i simply call it db collection right so that's your collection now after that again we will create the vector store change the default vector store so that the uh, vector store index can use it now here i'm for a, an example i'm again creating the service context uh, in this case, again, I'm changing the uh, default embedding model and also setting a chunk size, overlap size. So these are different parameters that you can set within the service context. And we can simply pass those on uh, to your index. Now, when you run this, so it will create this new folder called uh, Chroma DB. And there's going to be a collection called a DB collection. Now, if you have a vector DB, a Chroma vector DB that you stored on the disk in order to load that you're going to essentially follow the same steps so we are creating another db called db2 right uh, creating a collection now you want to use exactly the same name that you used for storing the db right and after that the rest of the process remains similar so you create a vector store you pass that vector store to the vector store index right along with the service context if you have modified anything in here and you can start interacting with the index there you just load it from the disk okay so we looked at a self-hosted option now let's look at a cloud-based option so for this example we are going to be looking at pinecone now you need to install uh, the pinecone client uh, for python and we are simply importing that uh, client in here okay well first we need to set up the pinecone credentials so we need both the api key as well as the pinecone environment now keep in mind uh, pinecone is not free they do offer a free uh, tier where you can create a single index so that's what i'm going to be using but if you're serving your application it's actually good to get their the paid plan so uh, you will need to create a pinecone account i'll put a link in the description then go to the api keys so here you will find the environment so simply copy that and uh, paste it in here so this is the gcp starter and then in order to copy the api key you can simply click on this icon and this will copy the api key so after that you will paste your api key in here now the initial setup in here is a bit more involved 
So first we need to initialize our Pinecone instance uh, with the credential that we have in here. So we're going to call pinecone.init and then provide both our API key as well as the environment that we are working with. Okay, next we need to create our index. Uh, so we are calling it llama index, right? And first we are checking, uh, checking if this exists. So if it doesn't, does not exist, then I'm creating this index. So the name is going to be llama index. You can call whatever you want. Now, here are the two most important things that you want to actually be careful about. First is you want to do, define uh, the dimension of your vector store embeddings. Uh, so each embedding model comes up with different dimensions. So you want to be careful and you need to set those dimensions correctly in here. And the second part is the distance metric. So here I'm using the cosine similarity, but you can use something like dot product as well, right? So there are multiple options in here. Cosine seems to be the fastest one. Now, where do you get uh, the dimension of the embedding vector that, or the embedding model that you're using? So if you are using open source embeddings, uh, so Hugging Face has this embedding leaderboard, you can go in here and for example, I'm using uh, this specific model, BGE Base English version 1.5. So here, uh, the embedding dimensions are 768. I believe for OpenAI models, it's uh, 1534. Uh, but make sure that whatever model that you use, you check the uh, dimension of the uh, embedding vector and simply assign it in here. Next, you need to uh, set up the Pinecone index. So here, uh, is how I'm doing it, right? Uh, and then I'll, I'll just um, print the parameters. So for example, you can see we're using the cosine similarity and the, the dimension is going to be 768, right? There are some other information uh, related to the vector store that we just created. Now, there is absolutely nothing in the vector store. This process will simply create an instance on a Pinecone website. So if you go here to Pinecone index indices, so you can actually see that it created a new uh, index and it's called uh, Llama index. Now I'm on the free tier, but if you have a paid tier, you will be able to create multiple of these. Okay, so through this process, we are only done with the Pinecone side. Now we need to bring this index and connect it to Llama index. Now the way you do it is you're going to be using a spe special package within Llama index and it's called Pinecone Vector Store. Now, this is very similar to what we did for Chroma DB. Uh, so, first we need to uh, simply import the storage context, right? We're creating a vector store based on the Pinecone uh, vector store that we created. So, we simply assign that index in here. And then we need to again update the storage context defaults. So, here I'm replacing the default uh, vector store with the newly created vector store here. And I, I am again, uh, actually updating the LL, uh, the embedding model. Although I think I don't need to do it in here uh, because we already updated it in the previous section. Uh, next, we need to create a vector store index based on all the parameters. So the, I provided the document, I provided the updated uh, storage context, all this, uh, as well as the service context. And this will create a new index for us. So this process is going to take some time uh, depending on how many documents in it you have in there, right? So for example, I think it created uh, 55 different nodes and it had to also update it or upload it to Pinecone server. And now we can simply um, set this as a query engine and start asking questions from that index. So in this case, the responses that you are getting are based on the uh, vector store stored inside Pinecone. So it's not a locally hosted um, vector store anymore, but we are hosting this on uh, Pinecone's servers. Okay, so let me summarize this in three different steps. First and foremost, you simply need to create your vector store. Uh, so uh, depending on whether you're Chroma DB or uh, you're using Pinecone, you are going to assign it a name and initialize it then you need to create a vector store object uh, that is going to be used to change the default uh, value in the storage context uh, and then simply using this new uh, vector store simply uh, you need to compute 
all the embeddings from your document and store them uh, as a part of the index. If there is interest in Llama Index, I will continue making videos in this series. Let me know in the comment section if that's something you would be interested in. If you would like to support uh, my channel and work, check out the YouTube member community by clicking the join button. There's going to be exclusive members only content and perks. Now, if you would like to learn more about Llama Index, check out this playlist. It has all the videos. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.